All right. Okay, okay. Welcome everyone. This is the best of three arena series between the Viper and Stefan. Mm, should we turn on team colors? Probably. Okay, the Viper is going to be red. Same as Doubt in the last series. Stefan is going to be blue. Just to make it easier to see for everyone. And let's see. Viper is also German now. Is he though? Did he get a citizenship? I don't know. But yeah. Well, Portuguese versus Vikings. I believe this was random sifts. Uh, I think this were just these were just rated games. So what do we have? Portuguese and Vikings for Arena. Portuguese, very powerful gunpowder units, getting access to all the gunpowder units and buildings. Getting access to all the archer technologies, fully upgraded arbalest. They get good cavalry up until Imperial Age. Vikings, on the other hand, get awful cavalry. They get anti cavalry infantry units once you research chieftains. They also get fully upgraded arbalest. And of course, they get free wheelbarrow and handcart. They also have tankier infantry units, which could be something here. Stefan, on the other hand, he gets cheaper units. Any unit's gonna cost minus 15% gold for him. I mean, not gonna cost minus, but it's gonna cost 15% less gold for him. They also get access to Fateria, which uh, Mr. GPN has said in the past can be OP, if I'm not mistaken, if I recall for the, <laughs> the Bubbly video, it was very good. And other than that, let's take a look at the relic placement. I'm not really sure how to cast Arena, so I'm just gonna do the, the usual. Map's not gonna matter so much, unless you have like a very, very exposed resources, which Stefan has here. A couple of golds, but it's okay, he's got back gold anyway. He's got a very nice back area over here with some neutral gold. So he has access to that. Unfortunately for him, his third gold is going to be out of the walls. Secondary stone is going to be out of the walls. Secondary gold is inside. But the Viper, of course, with the map hacks, he's got two golds on the back. Three golds on the back, actually. That is the main and both secondary gold piles. He doesn't have a neutral one, but all three are very, very safe. Stone situation, main stone piles forward, and the second one is outside the wall, so this might be good for Stefan, let's see. I'm kind of curious if he's gonna try to take advantage of this, or not. I mean, the Viper's not gonna want to go for a castle super soon, I guess, I think it's probably gonna be more important for Portuguese, but still, I mean, it's exposed stone, isn't that good? Anyway. Portuguese should win, but Vikings can win with Expos very early if they get the edge, alright. So if you do all in 1 TC strats, you can just make Fatorias. They aren't pop efficient, but if you're only like 50 bills and 50 army anyway, you don't care about pop efficiency. Don't even have to look at your economy to sort it if Fatorias can focus. And you can focus all on the push, okay. Stefan Organ 65%, Viper Siege Tower Expos 99%, we're gonna see. So for the relic placement, we have two relics close to the Viper's base, we have two relics close to Stefan's base, and the other one is slightly closer to the Viper's base. So yeah, that's about it for map and civilizations. Now let's go a little bit faster and try to... Yeah, we're, we're gonna skip up until Castle Age probably, which is where I think, or probably Fuel Age, it depends. Usually, you're gonna try to go for fast castle here, but the Viper's already going on stone, so yeah, going up for going up to Fuel Age, we're gonna see both players going for Fuel Aggression, rather, or not. Well, Stefan is with 26 villagers, he might be able to pull a fast castle. He's getting very close with the resources. Okay, market and blacksmith coming up, so not, it's not going to be towers. I was kind of expecting the Viper to go for towers though. But yeah, it seems like he's going to be able to go for fast castle, yeah. Clicking up to castle age now, 14 minutes, 49 seconds. Castle age time for the Viper. Stefan on the other hand, going for the market and blacksmith, but with one addition of villagers, going to be up a couple seconds later. 
31 seconds later, but with two extra villagers, that is not bad. Do we have loom? We don't. Do we have loom over here? We don't. Okay. Will Barrow already there for the Viper, of course, which is going to be a nice eco boost. And let's see. I'm going to go down a little bit. There you go. 50% speed. Now we're all set for the big fights. Potentially. Unless they go for boom. I'm gonna change the title of the stream. To Arena Best of 3. Some people might be interested in Arena. In this particular Arena matchup. Anyway. Bosa coming up for the Viper who went up a little bit faster. Stefan's gonna hit Castle Leech soon. Since when did the stream get 77 viewers? Since your since your host, man, of course. Second and third to see coming up as well. I kind of I kind of surprised that he didn't go for the TC over here. Isn't maybe because of space efficiency so that he can get the farms around? I guess protecting the gold is not a huge priority because you are so protected from the walls, right? So he just wants to get some clear space around the TC to get some farms up. Makes sense. Makes sense over here. Anyway, he's gonna have a very well protected gold over here. Heavy Poe coming up for the Viper. Bowsaw coming up for Stefan. Who's going already for the castle. Stone count for the Viper is not so good, so he's not gonna be able to go for his own castle. He has been mining only one, less than 200 stone with the two villagers so far. Johnny Juicy, hello. He might, he must have some other meme in mind. Let's see. He might be playing seriously. Take a look at that. Well, Stefan's gonna get the scout from the Viper. Pretty good stuff. Who's gonna go for the relics first? We already have a monastery over here going for the monks. How about the Viper? He doesn't have a monastery yet. He's going to go for a defensive tower. That's gonna keep the organ guns away, potentially. But yeah, we don't have a monastery yet for the Viper. So Stefan should be taking this quite handily. Where's the monk? He had a monk out. Not really sure. The Viper is not gonna lose a single villager over there. He should be able to get the tower up. Yep, there we go. Gonna keep Stefan at bay. That's all one. <laughs> so Mr. GPN says I remember playing a lot of Arabia players in Arena when you would get in a scout fight and then they would run away, taking an extra hit because they are so used to running on hill. Ah, that is a good point. Did not think of it. I wonder if that's what happened over here. Anyway, siege workshop coming up now for the Viper as well. So it's gonna be Mangonels against Organ Guns. 3 TC is still. Uh, do we have more Organ Guns coming up? Nope. As a matter of fact, we don't really have a lot of anything. Stefan is going for the second TC only, so we have two TCs for blue, three TCs for red. With hand cards, so Stefan, man, he really needs to do something over here. He's falling behind so much in villager count already. 13 extra villagers for, actually no, that is seven extra villagers for the Viper. And that difference is only going to increase as time goes on, unless the fan manages to do something here. A bunch of monks, he got two relics inside. Trolling this one, so he should be able to get all five relics. But is it going to matter if the Viper has three golds inside his base, very secured, and he's gonna have more villagers and a larger eco by the time they get to Imperial Age? I don't think so. Portuguese need to stay in one to see otherwise they lose. Like if he did the 25 plus 2 castle drop, it would have been strong. I think. Okay, let's see. He could potentially go for a redemption if he wanted to convert the Mangonil. But yeah, university coming up. Are we gonna see archers from the Viking player? Guard tower. Okay, he's going for the tower upgrades. 
Right now, Bad Kinaro coming up for the Viper as well. Uh, Stefan is in big trouble, man. He's going for the third TC up. But he is considerably behind already. 10 villagers behind at 60 and 50. That is 20% more villagers for the Viper. And remember, Vikings free hand card as well, so his eco is going to be insane. He should be able to go up to Imperial Age eventually as well. He's already got the University, the Siege Workshop up. So as soon as he is happy with the number of villagers he has, he should probably just naturally gather the resources to click up. Siege Workshop coming out for Stefan, but man, I don't know. Stefan will click up at minute 27. Viper can click up pre-24 minutes, let's see. Well, we are right now at 23, so the Viper should be getting close to clicking up. He doesn't have enough resources right now. But with free hand card, he should be able to... I mean, he's gonna start skyrocketing in the food count. So it's okay. Hand card coming out for Stefan now. Which I hope I'm saying correctly. I'm not really sure if it should be Stefan. Or Stefan. I'm going with the second one. I don't know. Sounds kind of alright. Viper very low on farms. He's going Arbalest. Hence why Guard Tower and Balkin helps a lot. So I was expecting Arbalest from him. Barracks coming up. Let's see. Second one. Stefan. Okay, perfect. And Dobbs, by the way. Hello, welcome. GP and no say you see basics. <laughs> Imperial Age coming up for the Viper, clicking up at 24 minutes. He was not very off. He was very close actually. Three archery ranges, four archery ranges coming up for the red player. What is Stefan gonna do, man? Come on! He's in such a tricky situation. Very, very rocky spot for blue right now. Four villager. Uh, he built a Siege Workshop with it, he's gonna go for a couple houses right now, he's gonna get all 5 relics, but once again, he is 9 villagers behind and the Viper has a very very safe gold over here. Is that going to make a huge difference? Imperial Age coming up for Stefan now, 25 minutes. Clicking up at 25 minutes, going up at 28 minutes. So it's 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Good stuff. One by one. Probably a bit of an unnecessary trade over there. But yeah, we have all five relics now for the blue player. Let's see. Castle coming up for the Viper. Hmm, are we gonna see Berserks? Castle coming up for Stefan now. Are we gonna see Berserks or is this only purely for trebuchets? What should Portuguese do versus Harbalist? Relic victory? <laughs> if only, man. Okay, okay, that could have been so much better for Stefan. I think he could have denied this. Okay, the Viper is getting pushed away. Probably a villager gonna go down. Yeah, one villager going down. Potentially another one. And the castle is going up eventually. Now the villagers from Stefano are gonna start going down. And this is a 93%! 95! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! He doesn't have... Does he have range? Oh, just barely! That was not a doubt castle. Only because it went up. But now the villager difference is... How much? 14 for the Viper. That was a very, very clutch castle. And the Viper could have denied actually because he missed fire with the castle to a, uh, I don't know, a Mangonel or a... Yeah, I think he missed fire to an organ gun. He could have denied this. Oh my god. Yes, exactly. You're right, Angry Banana. And there we go, so it's purely for church We're gonna see one church coming out from Stefan over here. Heavy plow, onager upgrade, so we can see onagers and organ guns. We have two castles for Stefan though, so he should be able to outproduce the Viper. The issue is that the Viper went up faster, so he was able to get them out sooner. 
And we're gonna see Arbalas going forward on the left hand side. We don't have ballistics yet for the Viper. But we have Ring Archer armor coming up. Chemistry too. He's already on Bracer, so Chemistry is gonna provide the plus four. Uh, Ring Archer armor for the plus three, plus four is pretty good. And yeah, the castle for Stefan went down eventually. We have two churches now, Trevin. The Viper's castle down. And I think he should be able to get this. We have onagers for Stefan. Yeah, he should be able to protect from Arbalest. And yeah, this one should be going down. We have two churches. Could have potentially a third one. And actually, a third one is coming up. But this is actually a very good micro for The Viper is taking the onagers without taking heavy losses. Keeping all his units scattered, that is quite good. Sniping the villager, repairing the onager as well. Castle still going to go down, but we have scale barding armor coming up for Vikings. For the plus one, plus one archery upgrade. I mean, plus one, plus one cavalry armor, sorry. I did say archery, it was cavalry armor. But yeah, anyway, all the archers are going down, and this is just very good army scattering, very good army control over here for the Viper. I don't think it was worth it at all for Stefan over there. He's going to get this though, he should be getting this. Oh, he attacked ground, I think. Uh, he was not... He was not gonna get the, the trebuchet, unfortunately. Trevin the Arbalest now. This just... Oh, good shot! Good shot over there again, but the Viper's army control is just very good. No way to touch the Viper with Anger, says Golden End. And we have all the arena people here. Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you are enjoying the series. Cavalier coming up for the Viper. Viking Cavalier. Okay. Well, he doesn't have anything. I mean, Stefan doesn't have anything to contest cavalry with right now. It's only on organ guns and onagers. Villager count only 5 higher for the Viper though. Resources are so much higher for Stefan. But keep in mind we have more units queued up for the Viper. 8 cavalry. Uh, 8 cavalier coming up for the Viper. 6 Arbalest. This is just a very methodical, very systematic push from the snake. <sighs> to be fair, why hasn't Stefan made anything other than Anchers? I don't know. You tell me. What do Portuguese do against Arbalest and now potentially Cavalier? Challenger coming up for the Viper and it seems like he was probably just practicing arena because this doesn't seem like fantasy playing very much looks pretty serious Habadir and BBC okay oh good shot over there some good shots, but we don't have anything to fight a Cavalier with. The organ guns, they just don't have damage output. Now he is going to get cleaned up over there, and that's a lot of managers once again getting cleaned up almost for free. And man, this is not looking very good. So he did lose a bunch of Cavalier, and now we have a castle coming up over here for Stefan. Who is right now only 9 villagers behind, all things considered at this stage of the game is not a huge difference. But the extra villagers that the Viper has had all game long have of course racked in some extra resources. And let's see, trebuchet from Stefan over here, a lot of organ guns coming out. And do we have any infantry in mind? It doesn't seem like that. I'm gonna start taking this goal which is very unprotected. And yeah, now the cavalry are just going to dominate. Trochette's going to go down for sure. We have chain bar the armor for the plus two, plus two for the viper. Blast furnace coming up. Unfortunately for him, nothing matters to play bar the armor. 
So he's getting cleaned up kind of consistently here, fighting under two castles, but he was able to save his own trebuchet. So it's gonna be constant to find some constant stone trying to repair this castle all the time. Now Sea Tram coming out for the Viper, Blast Furnace, Elite Skirmisher as well. Rams are not going to be that effective versus Organ Guns who get bonus damage against them. We also have the Onagers over here, so he should be able to uh, defend this. Yep. But that castle is just going to be a stone pit for Stefan right now. Villager count about the same for both players, and what is the eco looking like for the blue player? He cannot really take this efficiently. Which is, oh, a bunch of other villagers were here. He ran out of gold, I think. Or is this stone miner? Gold miner, okay. So this is the only one that he can take. Without a one, he's gonna be out of gold. This is a little bit of a miss microing though. Army control doesn't seem to be right there for Stefan right now. Losing a lot of organ guns, almost so free. My god, he had like 20, now he has only 9. HP pool now for both armies is looking considerably higher for the Viper. A lot of that comes from the Siege Ram, which should be going down to the Siege Onager, or to the Onager, I mean. So yeah, both players actually sacrificing a lot of military units. The Viper is just trying to brute force this castle down. He's just trying to steamroll the units and he's not being able to because of Viking Cavalry not being very strong overall against arrows, especially if he keeps fighting on two castles. But Stefan on the other hand, army control was not there for him and hence he ended up losing a lot of units as well. Even though the Viper keeps throwing units away. Is Stefan making back monster yet? He already had one over here, uh, but I don't think he's going for another one to keep the relic safe. Anyway, this is going to be spotted now for the Viper, who I think probably already had knowledge of this, and now villagers are going to start going down. Light cavalry with Blast Furnace already. Stefan's going to have to choose. Does he defend this, the castle? Does he defend the left-hand side area? He's going to want to defend the gold miners, otherwise he's not going to have gold for his army. 200 gold count for Stefan, not looking very good in population overall. The Viper has 180 population versus 157 ver uh, for Stefan. And zero stone right now. Zero stone for Stefan. Fortunately, no more trebuchets over here for the Viper, but the sea trams are going to be an issue. We're going to need to mass up more organ guns to fight the sea challengers. Uh, I mean, to fight the siege ramps, and the angels are going to be useful as well. But now let's see. Archibus coming out for Stefan, so we're going to see some gunpowder units. So actually, that's going to be ballistics for the organ guns. Sorry. Good stuff. And the Viper is going to go for more stables, so we're going to see an endless stream of light cavalry going inside Stefan's base, straight through the castles. And what is he gonna do about it? Not much, because the only units that he has right now are very slow and he needs to defend. He needs to choose where to defend. He cannot defend everywhere with the organ guns. He doesn't have the production capacity even. So the siege rounds are potentially gonna take the castle down now that he's paying attention to the left hand side. And the light cavalry can just start raiding everywhere. Taking a look at the food eco for the Viper with 137 villagers is looking very strong at 1800 food. And yeah, exactly. Stefan is paying attention to the left hand side, so now the siege ram can go forward, take the castles down. And all the cavalry going forward, they can just start raiding. Without the castles, there is not going to be a lot of protection over here for Stefan's units. Finally, barracks coming up, and we are going to see Pikeman potentially half a deer. But is it too late? Well, the Viper is going to have Arbalist against that. He is going on Onagers now as well, and yeah, man. Stefan is fighting this with Villagers. The villagers are going to go down to the Light Cavalry. Fourth DC coming up for the Viper over here even. Uh, and this is a place that Stefan was trying to take gold from. Got the knight. 
and there's just no gold income for Stefan anymore. He cannot take this. He cannot take this. The castles are going to go down. Well, let's see. Are Urban Guns still live yet? They are, they are. Are you giving away multiple premiums? Nope. Uh, we have uh, three months of gold, but if we have so many viewers, as you say, we might give away two premiums. So two gold accounts instead of one platinum. You have too little faith in our boy Stefan. Let's see. Okay, okay. I might be wrong. Well, man. We only have Cap Ram over here versus Sea Tram. Organ guns are very strong. I'll give them that. But the issue is that he doesn't have a lot to defend with. We have Onagers here for the Viper. We have Sea Traps. The rats are going to go down to the Organ guns for sure. And he was very quick in reacting over here and sending the organ guns back in the mid back to the middle because I thought focusing over here meant that he was gonna lose the castles. Fortunately he was very fast in his reaction time. Stable coming up now for Portuguese who get better cavalry than Vikings but beware Vikings getting chieftains which gives all the infantry units extra damage against cavalry. So even though they don't get half of the air, uh, potentially pikemen could be very good against any sort of cavalry units that Stefan might want to go for. But this is a very stagnant game right now. We are we have both players contesting the middle. Stefan still holding strong with two castles. Fortunately able to keep taking gold now because of getting the pikemen over here defending. Defending from the sea tram with the organ guns this is working quite effectively for him. As you can see, all the organ guns going down without the castles taking that much damage. So the Viper still has the trebuchets going on for him. And right now, only one castle. Well, that's enough. He's producing two extra trebuchets with it. Vipers in the south? How? Oh, what happened over here? The sea traps broke through the walls. You're right. He's raiding right now. Look at the amount of units going down over here. Stefan! The villager count! 85 and I completely missed that. Thank you so much for the heads up. This is not a live match. These games have been played a couple of days ago. I think on the 14th. But yeah, that was very effective. And it seems like Stefan didn't, didn't realize about this either. Because he lost way too many villagers over here. Sending all the pikemen over there. So much stuff going on all over the map. This is a very hectic game. 50 dead villagers. Well, he's going down from 120, so around that, to 40 and 50 villagers going down for sure. Fateria time? I don't know, man. Is he going for that? I I, I have not seen a Fateria going up yet. But the stables are not staying up very long. And what is he doing with these? I don't see any cavalry units from Stefan yet. Half of the year has been researched though. And yeah, the light cavalry from the Viking player are not gonna do anything anymore. So we're gonna see Arbalest from the Viper. Nope, we're gonna see only skirmishers. Who as we already established, don't really hard counter the half of the year the same way that blue skirmishers counter pikemen and spearmen. So hold on over there, mister. Stefan, is he coming back? Is he coming back? That's two for one. Very good. Only one energy remaining over there for the Viper. Very low HP as well. And we have an energy over here. Let's take a look. And also a Bombard Cannon. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good stuff for Stefan, who is going now for more stables. Still, though, not queuing any cavalry units. So I'm not really sure what the stable is for. He's pushing here with half of the year. He has managed to wall this up again. That siege ram has got to be the most annoying thing in the world. God knows how much stuff it took. And this one as well. 48 villagers still for Stefan. His eco is super, super messy. He's switching villagers over to the left hand side here, but he's going to be exposed to light cavalry as the trebuchet's going to start taking down the buildings. 
Goal man, how many goals Viper has? He should be running out of gold now because he had control of this one. And he also had all the back gold over here. So he doesn't have any of the original gold. But he still has this. And if we take a look at the gold income per minute. It's actually higher for the Viper at 567. 350 only for Stefan. Food and wood income so much higher for the Viper as well. So all that Stefan has going for him is the 5 relics right now. Which I'm not really sure if it... Is taken into account for this calculation. But the Viper might be able to take control of this. Which is 1300 gold left. This one is only 70. So yeah. Total gold remaining in the map. 2500. And most of that is in possession of the Viper. Yeah man. He got in now once again. Broke through here. Going forward with the Light Cavalry, he is going to clean this up. Those are 5 villagers from Stefan. The villager count going lower and lower as he's getting raided here. He's getting raided on the left hand side as well. All the buildings going down. And what is Stefan doing? He's not doing match. And yeah, GG has been called. Very strong game from the Viper. When were these games played? They were played around the 14th, I believe. Let's see. There we go. If Stefan managed to notice the raid in time, he would have won. Now it's GG. Yeah, I didn't notice and he didn't as well because you saw all the bodies here. Uh, he didn't even try to garrison them. He went with straight with the pikemen just when he didn't have any villagers left. Which is very unfortunate. Very good game from the Viper over there. Alright guys, so... If we retain over 50 viewers by the end of the stream, we're going to be giving away two premiums, premium prizes, all right? So six months worth of gold, gold premium uh, in two, three months giveaway. So I'm going to be right back and we're going to jump into the second game of the series. I'm just going to take a very, 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 very quick look at the achievements just to keep up with tradition. But yeah, military scores so much higher KD for Stefan, as the Viper threw so many cavalry units to the castles, but ultimately sneaking in with some good raiding and managing to snipe a lot of villagers from Stefan. Food collection, woodstone uh, higher for the Viper, more gold collected for Stefan. Technology stats, as you can see, faster uptimes for the Viper all over the board. Fire relics captured with almost 5,000 worth of gold income from them. And that's the timeline. I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> 